All right. Um, the most satisfying way I have found to play guitar uh, in the beginning, to learn guitar, is to start with chords. Um, a lot of books will start you off on note reading, individual strings. We're not going to do that. Um, so a chord is technically three or more notes. And we're going to start off with what are called the, um, the basic open chords. Um, you're going to see some chord diagrams as we go through this video. Uh, remember our, our three sets of numbers, finger numbers, fret numbers, and string numbers. We're going to start off with a, a nice easy chord, uh, E minor. Sounds like this. So you're going to use your second and third finger. If you want, you can think of Spider-Man, like that. Your second and third finger glued together. Second finger goes on the second fret of the fifth string. Third finger goes on the second fret of the fourth string. And the rest of the strings are strummed open. It's a six string chord. So I'm just using my thumb to strum like that. All six. So notice, keeping my fingers nice and curved, my fingers are coming down nice and perpendicular. And with my right hand, I'm strumming all six strings. Okay, so that's E minor. And if, if you're getting all the strings uh, ringing through nice and clear, congratulations, that's your first chord. Um, one thing to guard against is that these fingers are touching any of the other strings. Make sure you keep them nice and curved. You don't want to have this. And if you hear any of that, you need to adjust the angle of your fingers. Now once you feel confident with E minor, there's a sister chord that's very similar. You take those same two Spider-Man fingers, you're going to move them towards the floor one set of strings. So now they are on the second fret of the fourth and third strings. Second fingers on the second fret of the fourth string. Third fingers on the second fret of the third string. We're going to add our index finger, our first finger, on the first fret of the second string. And you need to make sure that you keep these curved because you want the first string to still be ringing open. And now this is a five string chord. It's gonna sound like this. With my right hand, I'm gonna avoid the sixth string and only strum five strings. That's A minor. We're going to get into switching chords, but for now, your job is to just get your fingers used to playing all these chords in isolation. E minor, A minor. And while we're on the subject, um, be sure you use your ears too to um, get used to the sound of these. These are both minor chords, which um, sound a little bit uh, darker than the major chords, which we're going to get to. Um, as we're going along, we're going to listen to the quality of these different chords, like I said. Those were two minor chords. Now we're going to look at some major chords, which have a brighter, more sort of confident sound to them. We're going to start with G. Um, there's two different ways to play it. I'm going to show you both of them. And people seem to differ as far as which one they find easier. The way I'd, really, I'd honestly recommend would be like this. So we're looking at third finger on the 3rd fret of the 6th string, 2nd finger on the 2nd fret of the 5th string, then you have 3 open strings, and your pinky, your 4th finger, is holding down the 3rd fret of the 1st string. So it looks like that. And you strum all 6 strings. Now. The pinky is not used to doing a lot of work, and it can take quite a while to get used to that stretch between the third finger and the pinky um, being on the first and sixth strings. Here's the other way to finger the G chord. It's not any better or worse than the other one, um, and a lot of people find this easier. So I'm going to start again from scratch. Now you use your middle finger, your second finger, to play the third fret sixth string. First finger play the 2nd fret 5th string, skip 3 strings, and your ring finger, your 3rd finger, is going to play the 3rd fret 1st string. Same notes as the other way to play it, just different fingers. And it's a 6th string chord. You want to make
make sure it's a really good thing to do to double check your chords note by note. Um, make sure all those notes are coming through. Um, let me show you some things that you might run into. You might have that might be that might be something you you run into, which is the notes that my fingers are holding down aren't coming through because I'm not pressing hard enough. Now I am. Uh, another thing that might happen is if one of your fingers isn't curved enough, then it's going to be muting some of the strings that are supposed to be open. So you got to keep the strings nice and curved, press down enough to get a nice clear tone. And that's your G chord. So um, we're going to move on to a C chord. We're going to start with a, a very similar fingering to the G chord we just looked at. Your third finger is going to play the fifth string, third fret. Your second finger is going to play the second fret, fourth string. Then you're going to have an open third string. And your first finger is going to play the same note it played in the A minor chord, which is the first fret of the second string. The first string is supposed to be open, so all together these five strings sound like this. And if in my right hand, I'm strumming five strings. So notice so far we've had a six string, two six string chords, E minor and G, and two five string chords, A minor and C minor. Uh, there's also a set of four string chords, and we're going to look at our first one, which is going to be D. So D is a triangular shape. It could help you in your left hand, it could help you to think of like a peace sign, because your first and second fingers are going to be parallel. What I mean by that is your first finger is going to go on the third string, second fret, your second finger is going to go on the first string second fret, so notice there's a string in between them. And then your third finger, your ring finger, is going to come down on the second string third fret. They make a little triangular shape. And you're going to strum in your right hand four strings. So the fourth string is open. More time that was open fourth string, first finger is on the second fret of the third string, third finger is on the third fret of the second string, second finger is on the second fret of the first string, D. And that's our first four string chord. Okay, so we now know five chords. Believe it or not, you can play hundreds of songs with those five chords, and um, we're actually going to do that in the next lesson.